have my camera installed in the front here which is a full size board camera that wouldn't fit in between the plates obviously so I've just used vibration isolating dampeners cut one in half and there's one and a half at the top and they are cable tied around the front pillars this is my receiver that's decased it's not de-pinned so there's a bit of added weight in there that's waste and the sleeve dipoles are mounted up on the front pillars that will be changed out for a pre-sky receiver shortly the video transmitter there's a ET200 that they have heat shrinked in lithium cell um, heat shrink stuff with the channel selection button exposed and the wiring loom exposed uh, it's cable tied on at the back through here it's for a rubber grommet that's been cut down so there's no chance of a short on the carbon fibre uh, the wiring loom is just loosely wrapped up in heat shrink ideally needs trimming down and cable tied the receiver is output in PPM to the nase and it just sort of sits in there under the top plate VBAT and piezo buzzer the headers needed a few millimetres taken off so the plate fits but that's no problem if I was doing it next time I would put right angle headers on there the nose obviously is orientated 90 degrees out so that has been changed in the configuration um, time to cable tie everything up together and pop the top plate on this is the first revision completed as you can see FPV camera it's got my decased IAB V2 nose 32 1306 3100 KVs with 3045 diatones it's got a crappy CMOS FPV camera and it's not long due for an update to FreeSky and a decent CCD the SMA is for a little rubber grommet as is the XT60 wiring it's got a 200 milliwatt transmitter There you go.